Hey everyone, it is Friday, August 26th. The time is 1.10 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 24 degrees Celsius. I'm here at the intersection of Jane and Finch. And this bus is blocking my view of one of the Alstom LRT test trains. They're currently running along the future Finch West LRT line. And there's a look towards the intersection of Jane and Finch. And this LRT line consists of 18 stops and it extends westward from Finch West Station. Unfortunately, the test tram there didn't come any further than this. was as close as I could get. And I think those are different from the Bombardier vehicles that will be on the Eglinton LRT. So for this one, I'm gonna go for a walk through some of the shopping centers in this area that surround the mall, or surround the intersection, <laughs> rather. There's the Jane Finch Mall over there. And there is what I think is called the North Finch Shopping Center. And here on the northwest corner, we have York Gate Mall, although it kind of wraps around this gas station here. And on this corner, we have the San Romanaway Apartments. So this is North up the east side of Jane Street. And just to the north of here is the university where I graduated from. That would be York University. And I last did a video through this area in April of last year. I just saw something that caught my eye. Rolling Video Games. That's a mobile video game theater. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I think that apartment there is called the Palisades. And it's a rather prominent intersection and you've got towers in the park on one corner, a gas station on the other, a large suburban style shopping plaza on one and then a shopping mall on the other. And a lot of that is a byproduct of this area really starting to grow and develop in the 60s, which is rather unfortunate timing. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of car centric design. It's not the most pedestrian and cyclist friendly area. In fact, I've seen a number of people riding their bikes on the sidewalk here. But good things are coming with the LRT. And there's apparently a reimagining of the Jane and Finch Mall. And I'll talk a bit about that when I get over to that area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up to this next crossing here, and then we'll head over to York Gate Mall. And Jane and Finch could be described as a high-density, multicultural neighborhood. It's traditionally been lower income. Which again makes this car-centric design all that much more perplexing. So I think there's two main entrances to York Gate Mall and it looks like there's a redevelopment notice. 
fancy. They want to build a 22-story residential building right at York Gate Boulevard and Finch Avenue West. We're seeing more and more property owners these days trying to squeeze more out of their lots. And given the demand for housing, it makes a lot of sense. And the neighborhood of Jane and Finch has around 52,000 residents. And it's bordered by Highway 400 to the west, the Black Creek to the east, Shepherd Avenue to the south, and Steeles Avenue to the north. And the Snow Frills would be, I think, the sole anchor tenant of York 8 Mall. There used to be a Zellers, which is a large Canadian discount shopping retailer, or rather it was. But will soon be again, as apparently the Bay is reviving that brand. And that has since turned into a Planet Fitness. It was hard to find much information about this mall online. Apparently it was built in 1990 and it opened in 91. So here's one of two main entrances. And the Jane and Finch Mall across the street was built in the 60s. But with the area growing so much, it was deemed that that was not enough to serve the catchment area. So this mall sprouted. And there's a hydro corridor just to the north of here. And I've done a few bike rides along there. And I'll probably be back at some point. But let's head into a very small regional mall. There's the first floor. There's about 60 shops and services in total. And on the second floor, there's a Seneca College campus. There's a liquor store, the LCBO. I don't think you would classify this as a destination mall. convenience store, cell phone retailers. A rug shop. Bulk food mart. Not seen much in terms of major retail chains. Lucky Kitchen Plus. Global Electronics. It's very Radio Shack like. There's a Timmy's and a Harvey's. And they've got an employment and social services center. Let's take a quick peek upstairs. Greek KO, top food. There's Seneca. There's 
a nice well-lit seating area over there. Doesn't look like you get much of a view outside. China Walk, superb Chinese food. So this Seneca here has been here since the 90s. It might even have opened with the mall. If you're aware of when that opened, let me know down in the comments. And I think they provide continued education services. So that includes practical nursing and social service worker programs. Not really sure or sure what they teach exactly there. Like I said, it was really hard to get information on this mall online. In fact, I found a list of regional malls in Toronto on Wikipedia, and this wasn't even included in them. So we're going to head out. That is Finch Avenue just to the south of here. And just in that direction, I think is gonna be a large storage facility for the Finch West LRT. And just in on the left is what used to be a Zeller's. I think that closed down in around 2013 and they leased a lot of their locations, or rather sold their leases for locations to Target as part of their ill-fated expansion into Canada. This Planet Fitness moved in shortly after Zellers went under. So what I want to do here is cross the street and walk through the Norfinch Shopping Center. Finch doesn't seem to be a, as disrupted as much as Eglinton has been, although this is an at-grade LRT track. Whereas most of the western part of the Eglinton LRT is underground. So this will serve 18 stops from Finch West Station, which is to the east of here, over to Humber College. There are plans to eventually extend it all the way up to Pearson Airport. As well as extend it to the east up to Finch Station. certainly be here next year if they get this thing up and running. Press the button there. No, I'm jaywalking, but this traffic here is turning left. Well, there, we've got the sign anyways. So that was York Gate Mall.
There are plans to extend the LRT here to the east over to Finch Station. That's at Young and Finch. That was actually part of the original plan, but thanks to some classic budgetary cheap outs, it was only approved to go as far as Finch West Station. I think there's plans even after that to extend it further east of Finch Station. I think over to Don Mill Station. Always got to be careful walking through a parking lot like this. This Braden Wiggs classic beauty supply shop has been here forever, at least since 2007. Same goes for the beer store and a KFC just around the corner. I couldn't figure out exactly how old this plaza is. I was trying to find that online, but my guess would be probably the 60s or 70s at the youngest. bubble tea shop. I've gotten some slack for criticizing areas like this before in some of my videos, but really it's not a slight against the people here. I think the design of a neighborhood is objectively terrible. You've essentially got Strode meets Strode here. Look at all these people camped out waiting for a bus. You mean to tell me that's the best we could do in terms of a built environment for such a busy bus stop? There is the Jane and Pinch Mall just across the street, so we'll be heading over there. Looks like this guy is trying to cross the street. So this is Jane Street, and I had read at some point, a lot of the apartment buildings on Jane Street here were built as condominiums. A lot of them initially were failed projects, and the city kind of bailed them out. And Toronto Community Housing took over some of the developments. I'm not sure if that's entirely true or not. We have found Pigeon Central. This mall here opened back in 1968. And it's anchored by this Freshco, which previously was a price chopper. And there are plans online called Jane Finch Mall Plus, which will see a redevelopment of this parking area here. It's still in the very early stages of being planned. But there's plans for a park and housing and more commercial and retail opportunities. Anything that helps this property better utilize the space in front of the major intersection over there, I think would be an improvement. And just like York Gate Mall, they have a Timmy's here. So let's go for a walk through Jane Finch Mall. And 
and this is my first time ever stepping foot in this mall. W lingerie. There's a doctor's office. Shoppers over there. the JFM Plus Community Engagement Space. Hello. I just want to get a look at this. Yeah, get a look. So to make a long story short, the mall is going through redevelopment, and this right here is the whole part of J.A. Finchland. And they're just um, asking the community what they want. If they want a building, if they want and, um, different yeah, kinds so of infrastructure. Behind you, there um, are. This is going to be about a 20-year project, and, and they're starting on something here at the corner. Yeah, well, the that's like our quick rundown. All four corners need yeah, so need redevelopment. They're going, around, <laughs> they're going to be moving around the whole the whole plot of land. They want to put in a high rise maybe here in the middle. Um, right. They're going to put a building here to start. Oops. One second. I was no, no, awesome. No, thank you. This are yeah. model buildings, and you can put like multiple buildings into one space, just on a fresh okay. color alone, you know. Oh. And you can also put like as much green space as you want. I love doing this. Like, as <laughs> Will they be affordable housing? I, I believe so. Uh, <laughs> the current, the current um, it's yeah. online. Too. Oh, it's going to be post. Um, oh, it's an actual residential. It's a residential area. Yeah. Residential and extended mm. or so to yeah exactly yeah, we're trying to get what people want so yeah it's uh, a website that you want you can watch the jfmplus.com yeah, you can watch the presentation for it and it has the information on what's currently um, being discussed but we're currently going into the draft concept plan soon so that's where the building is awesome stuff, awesome which is the more interesting part right but yeah i'd like to see this whole area like more pedestrianized it's kind of a Minefield just walking around, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. No, I'm gonna. Helpful people. I didn't want to stay there for the full pitch, but definitely check out their website at JFM Plus. Yeah, it's good to see the malls being so proactive in terms of gaining community input. All too often. Places just act on their own in a very self-interested manner. I think Galleria at Dufferin and DuPont comes to mind as that type of development. Or rather one that was done with little community input. Wrap Express, but they have ice cream? Passion fruit plus juice. There's a large Dollarama. A lot of unique clothing retailers here. Mix Max. Mario hooked up to a CRT TV, the way it's meant to be played. Well, York Gate Mall is certainly nicer. But this seems to be the busier, busier, more utilized space.
This is surprisingly big. centers here. Funny that little girl <laughs> was making a beeline over to those rides there. Ah, uh, yes, the cornerstone of North American development a drive through. This is just a single car drive through. I think multi-car drive throughs at least in the U.S., have become more and more common. This will take us back up to Finch. Maybe we'll get to see another test vehicle. And this street on the right is Driftwood Avenue. Hey, what do you know? LRT itself is different from the ones that you will see on Eglinton, but the livery is the same. It's got that black and white look to it. if it's going to come through this crossing here. Pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting to be able to get this close. Again, this is supposed to open allegedly at some point in 2023. It certainly looks like they have a lot of cleaning up to do with the streetscape along Finch. And there is a look to the west towards the intersection of Jane and Finch. And on that note, I think I'm going to wrap this one up and hop on the next bus that rolls by here. If I remember to, I'll link that video I did back in April of last year around this neighborhood, and I think I'll be back on my e-bike or e-scooter at some point. And I'll do another video around here. But thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. And I forgot, if you're interested, <laughs> there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description.
And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and that thing seems to be going more west than the earlier one I saw did. I wonder if that's going to turn around and come back. Or just continue on its merry way. Oh well, thanks for watching. And I mean it this time. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one.